Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching Mainframe Practical Tutorial Part 7. So today in this video I would like to cover or show something practically about a program using computational usage that is about using of COM, COM1, COM2 and COM3. As we all know that uh, COM if the size is between 9 of 1 to 4 it occupies 2 bytes, 9 of 5 to 9 4 bytes and 9 of 10 to 18 8 bytes and uh, uh, COM1 will store 4 bytes and COM2 will store 8 bytes and COM3 will store half of the bytes. So we know the error theoretically and uh, let us see uh, into practically so how this storage happens internally. Okay, let's connect to the mainframe. So this is the program. So as usual, ID division, program ID, environment division. So you can give your comments. So here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm trying to declare three different kinds of variables. That is uh, making you a uh, four different kinds of variables. That is for comp, showing comp. Since we have three different uh, two different kinds of ranges, so nine of one to four, nine of five to nine, and nine of ten to eighteen. So so that's the reason I took the different kinds of variables show for this in order to identify the storage okay so comp comp a and comp b working storage since you are using the variables in working storage it is better always better to use ws hyphen and followed by your variable name so comp1 i declared comp1 variable and for comp2 and comp2 and uh, computational three half byte storage so i declared two variables that is for storing two bytes and it shows three bytes okay let's see into the details so why I'm saying two bytes over here is uh, since com3 occupies half of byte 3 means uh, 3's half will be 1.5 bytes and remaining 0.5 will be for sign okay in the same way for 4 bytes half of the byte will be 2 bytes and 1 is for sign and an extra 0.5 byte will be added okay that, sh that will make 3 bytes let's see into the details so display I'm trying to display some message like usage showing usage of comp. I'm passing, I'm moving the values triple nine to WS comp, display WS comp, and find trying to find the length of it. So, how many bytes it is occupied. So, in the same way, move triple nine to WS comp A, comp B, and so on. So, this would be for comp one, and the same would be for comp two, and same would be for comp three. Okay. This is how the program looks. So let's compile this program. Run it. Compile. Okay. Enter. Yes. Ended with max is zero. Then you need to run it. In order to run it, my pro change your program name that is comp and map your load library. Just run it. Okay. Ended with zero. And then go to spool you go to spool so this is map so okay let's see so you say showing comp so you first what you did in earlier here you have passed triple nine to comp okay sorry triple nine to comp and the length of it is two bytes right so how it is happening we'll see so this you have declared three so as you know the range one to th four it occupies two bytes so in the same way even though we declared a three bytes here but it stores two bytes so that is what it shown here in the same way even if you have two bytes it shows two bytes if you are having six bytes so it falls into the range five to nine so it should occupy four bytes so yes it is occupying into 4 bytes that's correct that's good so let's look into this comp1 comp1 it will store data in 4 bytes right so for comp1 we don't have picture class it exactly stores 4 bytes and comp2 stores 8 bytes let us see if it is storing 4 bytes or something usage of comp1 so and the other important point is it stores the data in floating point form and reserves rounded value let's see you can see the floating point value and uh, occupies 4 bytes same way comp2 which will store the data in 8 bytes in hexadecimal form uh, ok you can see a comp2 resultant value and uh, it stores the data in 8 bytes right 
So the same way, another thing is COM3. It is a packetesimal usage which occupies one one digit or half byte of the storage space. So you can see usage of COM3 using two bytes. So in talking about the program, so S10 of three COM3, right? So how many bytes it should occupy? So three divided by uh, three is divided by two. It means I mean half half of it it should have one point five plus fine two bytes. It should occupy two bytes here. So it should occupy two bytes. So in the same way, four bytes. Four bytes means four half is two, uh, point five is per sign and point five is an extra byte. So it's three bytes. But it's showing three bytes. That's correct. So that's all about uh, the important concept called computational usage. I have shown this practically. So better to practice it a lot uh, it is mainly I mean it will be very important while you work in real time so this video could be very very helpful to you so since you you came to understand about how do we uh, how do we use this comp variables and uh, how much data size it occupies and so on so keep practicing this COBOL programs Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe, share or comment on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and for sure pleasureful day.